I am a, a computer scientist and I specialize in machine learning. And so what I do is I build mathematical models to learn patterns in data sets for numerous, ta numerous tasks and purposes. So for example, if you want to make a product better, you will use data that has been gathered from that product. You would build a machine learning model to understand the patterns in that product and then use that information as feedback into the development of that product. So I am a machine learning scientist. We do a lot of math and engineering and we try to make machines better. For example, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint is a software where you used to make very beautiful presentations. So typically if you're making a slide deck of different of, a, of anything you want to present, you do that in PowerPoint. Um, one of the ways machine learning is improving PowerPoint is through um, this concept called design ideas. This is actually something I'm very excited about because I make PowerPoints a lot. And so when you're working on a slide, um, you're trying to maybe put a point across, maybe you have a bullet list of certain things you want to explain to an audience. There is a design tab that comes on the side that shows you how you can, the different ways you can style this slide. So it would suggest maybe icons. So maybe you want to present about the list of animals, for example. It can show you icons of dogs, cats, you know, depending on what you have written down. And if you click on it, your, style, your slide is automatically styled according to the suggestion that was put forth. And that's just one. There are other ways we do it. So for example, the search engine Bing also uses machine learning to show you suggestions when you search. Um, MS News, MSN News, for example, also suggests um, news articles for you to read. And so a lot of all these things have machine learning behind the scenes.